Good morning and welcome to the Robin Report. I'm your host, Elliot Robin, so get ready to get triggered. Good morning and uh, welcome to the Robin Report. I'm your host, Elliot Robin, as you might have heard in our intro. And with me, as usual, I have my expert panel, Marshall, Adam, and Daniel. How are you guys? Good. Doing pretty well. Good, good. Awesome. So uh, let's start with our five minute recap of the week. General Flynn resigns. Mm. Thoughts on that? Mm-hmm. General, I mean, I'm, ju- yeah. I'm just at this point. I'm not so convinced that he was up to anything illegal. I mean, I, I think that uh, maybe shady, um, but there's not enough details out about it. I and so many of the details are being muddled, like whether he resigned of his own volition or whether Trump asked him to resign. Um, it seems that the government can't get their story straight about it, and neither can the media. Um, so I, I think it's a little early to make a judgment and. Um, I think, you know, you see a lot of people going, ah, we were so right, Trump's up to all this, and I just think it's much too early to make a judgment. Uh, I think it's, like, very, I don't know, it's, it's not going to be the biggest deal right now. I think right now it's, it's going to be problematic in terms of accountability, like, within the Trump administration, because from what I saw, a couple of reports saying something about, like, in, with conversations with Russia and, like, Russian officials or something like that, I don't even know, if, like, I don't even know, like, how 100% accurate that is, but... Um, I, do, I just want to see who's going to replace him. That's what I want to care about more right now. That's what I see. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> my, my mom described a family feud as everybody pointing fingers at each other. And then as soon as somebody does something wrong, they go and they go, ah, ah see, 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 yeah. I knew you were... It's confirmation I, bias. I, yeah, I knew you were blank, 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 blank. Mm-hmm. As soon as there was even, uh, like, a hint of, of, of talking with the Russians or, or whatever, everybody's like, ah, see, Trump, Trump is in, in bed with Putin. Trump is in bed with Putin. Here, here's the proof. Here you go. I knew it all along. Hillary Clinton, 2020, blah, 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 blah. Right? I only want to see Hillary for 2020. Please, go nah. to sleep. Like, oh, nah. Um, <laughs> listen, I'm... I'm not a Republican. I'm I'm m- very much not a Trump supporter. I did say I would support Trump in the elections over Clinton, but that doesn't mean I'm a Trump supporter. And you know, I'm also waiting for him to fail. I'm not going to lie to you. But this doesn't count as a fail. It's it's one guy in in a whole scheme of whatever. Even if he was talking to the Russians, um, in the Obama Romney debate, you know, Obama called uh, Obama. You know. Said he's like the 1980s called. They want their geopolitical threat back, yeah. and that's how I see the U.S. and Russia. Like, what are they so worried about? It, it doesn't make sense to me personally. They're right? blowing it out of proportion, as if it's going to turn yeah. into some like second cold, There's not cold war be a or something. Winter is it? mutually I, assured destruction. Yeah, yeah. I know we've got to wrap this topic up, but I just want to throw in. So uh, the issue, um, the purported issue is that uh, Flynn might have been in violation of the Logan Law, which is that no private citizen may uh, negotiate with a foreign power. Um, so first of all, this was done while uh, Obama was in power. This is done of uh, Flynn's you know, own doing. Trump was not in power when the purported uh, wrongdoing happened. Uh, secondly, uh, the Logan Law, I mean, I, I'm not entirely convinced he was in violation of the Logan Law. <laughs> the Logan Law hasn't been... Um, used uh, in 200 years now. Nobody has gotten uh, charged under the Logan Law in 200 years until some French doctor, or sorry, some American doctor went to France um, to negotiate with their government. Um, it's not, it's, uh, just because he was talking with Russia does not mean he was breaking the Logan Law. That, that's the key detail there. Alright, uh, so let's move on to uh, a little more Trumpy news. Uh, Trudeau finally met Trump. And uh, there was a lot of talk about not only his, but that specific handshake. Oh, uh... Can you I, weigh in on that? I, I actually find that handshake hilarious. Donald Trump does not know how to give a handshake. Yeah. 
And he does this thing where he'll um, shake her hand. Trudeau can't do one either. No. They're just terrible. Yeah, it's, it's garbage. They're both garbage. But Trump does this thing where he shakes her hand and then he grabs her arm in. Mm. And there is, uh, like, when uh, Trudeau's walking into the White House, Trudeau grabs his hand and you can see Trudeau resisting the grab. Mm -hmm. And I find that really funny. But I didn't really care much I else th about it. Th I don't think he knows what a handshake is. I think he, all he does is just strangle people with his wrist, strangle people's wrists, and that's it. Yeah, I mean... Uh, it doesn't mean anything that I, I can't believe that there was so much reporting done on that like, handshake between the two of them. I, mean, <laughs> I understand, like, BuzzFeed doing it, but when you have, like, you know, actual news sources doing it, it's kind of it's kind of sad. Yeah. No, I, I, the meeting was very much ceremonial. They both have different opinions on especially immigration and security. What are we to expect? It's like, oh, Trudeau yeah. took a stand against Trump. No. They just both said their views on immigration. Mm -hmm. like, Nothing wrong with that. Like, surprise, surprise. Trudeau likes immigrants, Trump doesn't. Yeah, I mean, Trudeau being a little passive aggressive in some of the things he said, um, a bit too passive aggressive for my taste, but, uh, you know, I, it went well, I'd say. I don't think um, it Not went any worse than I was yeah. expecting it to. It's all about Ivanka and, and Justin Trudeau. Uh, That's what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ivanka ogling at Trudeau, that was... New more Trudeau mania? There you go. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> so, uh, next question? the next one is, um, a little more Trudeau this time. So we had two Trump, now we go two Trudeau. Very Trudeau. Um, their name, their, their couple uh, no, name is terrible. actually, their couple name is actually Trudeau. So, you know, <laughs> so okay. you know Trudeau, yeah, just, right? uh, you know, fact of the day. Uh, next one is that the Canadian government will be discussing the new anti-Islamophobia law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, you know, this this week. You know, that was one thing I have no idea what's going on with. So, yeah, I, I have too. some insight on it. And this, I, I have not, uh, it's honestly infuriating how much people are making a big deal of it. Um, I've been talking to conservatives, as I, as I often do, yeah. and everybody's freaking out about it. This is the end of free speech. I'm, uh, motion on 103 is not a law. It's not a bill. It's it's a motion. What a motion is, is uh, basically something that the government will say. It's not something the government will do. So let's say uh, M103 passes. All it means is that the government will condemn Islamophobia through their words. That's it's not a law. Um, a similar thing, uh, I mean... Literally the exact same thing was passed for anti-Semitism federally a couple of years ago and provincially back in, I want to say, December. Uh, nobody made a big deal about that. I, I think it's the exact same thing. It's when done in the wake of the mosque shooting. I have no issue with it, and nobody else should either. It's not a big deal. It's not even a deal. Making a big deal out of it is more of an issue than the thing itself. But like, uh, in terms of the Zeke motion, like, it makes sense, and I, it's fine. But what I'm trying to understand is, like, isn't basically using the criminal code though? Like, isn't that it supposed to be the protection? To do with the Sorry, no. Um, I'm it trying to think one. Which particular legislation am I thinking of? Um, Maybe in hate crimes and stuff like that, in comparison to like race and religion it, and stuff like that. It just, it just doesn't affect charter. anything. Uh, it doesn't affect anything whatsoever. So it's, nobody it's, should really care about this no, thing. then? it's it's entirely um, a nicety. It's uh, entirely just saying, you know, like if it passes, all it means is that the government will say, Islamophobia bad. Um, How it's redundant. I think it's redundant. I think it's a bit of a waste of time. That's the only thing. I don't <clears throat> think we're live. No? No. It says we do, yeah. Yeah, but nobody's... Like, I'll have a look on my phone. Yeah, we're live. Yeah, we're live. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Anyway, continue, guys. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's, that's all there really is to it. It's not something to fret about. It's not something to even put your mind to. It's just... Um, the the, po the politicians, um, mainly the uh, conservative leadership hopefuls who are going on about it right now are just being populists. They're just appealing to the lowest common denominator who thinks it is a big deal. Um, yeah, so just don't don't worry your pretty little heads about it. Thanks. Thanks, Marshall. You're welcome. On to the next one. Anything else you want to say about it? No, not really. Yeah, it's fine. Good. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's go now to our uh, our main story. We moved to local politics today. No, not Queen's Park, not even Toronto City Hall. We talk Ryerson Student Union. So, a painstakingly long election for positions on the RSU Board of Directors has just wrapped up. As mentioned last week, Adam won a seat on uh, 
at the table um, as a faculty of arts director, right? That I did. Exactly. So um, that's perfect because the Raven Report now has a uh, conflict of issue of media <laughs> collusion on its hands, which mm. is phenomenal. Um, you know, taking after uh, CNN and everybody. <laughs> uh, so thanks, Adam. Thanks for that. Oh no um, problem. Many times, guys. Anyways, it's what we're born to do. We're gonna we're gonna talk about all the scandals and problems that came about from this uh, uh, shit show of a campaign, if you ask me. Mm. Um, we before we get to the questions, though, I want to uh, mention to everyone once again, we're live on SpiritLive.ca, so you can tune in to us there and message us directly on our Facebook page. Uh, your thoughts, and we'll read them live on air. And we're also live on Facebook itself, so you can just message us. Uh, or comment on the feed. Uh, so whatever you are, whatever you think, uh, wherever you are, we want to hear from you. So the first question, what is RSU and what do they do? I'll start with you, Adam, since you're, you know, representing it. Bias. Okay. Um, bias. No. The Ryerson Student Union is basically focused on bringing up is uh, basically focused on doing the best that they can for students. And I know that sounds broad, but there's a lot to be said in that. It's, it's representing the underrepresented. It's making sure that enough funding goes to enough, um, enough programs. It's making sure that there is, uh, we, we have input from students and we're not you know, just behind closed doors running the show. There's a lot to do with making sure that we run a, a balanced budget. There's a lot to make sure with us having, you know, good events, bringing marketing, bringing students to Ryerson, making sure people feel safe on campus, making people feel sure that um, they have a, a voice. If, if, if they're dissatisfied with Ryerson, they can come to a board and the board can, can go to admin. It's, it's like, uh, like the, the, the most simple way I can put it is doing the best for students. And, and that's what I see the RSU to be, but I'm obviously incredibly biased. And uh, you two, you three, should voice your opinions on the RSU as if I weren't in the room, and I don't want you to sugarcoat anything. Yeah, well, that Adam guy, I don't, I'm yeah. so oh, pissed off that he got oh, a I can't deal with uh, his... Yeah. Well, I mean, oh, you know man. I never I never sugarcoat. Um, I don't know, I know. And I mean, so to look at it um, from the perspective of somebody who's not involved and to kind of give, um, let's say, more of a, a layman's uh, point of view, uh, basically, what you'll see from the RSU, um, from somebody, let's say you're not very involved, you're not keeping up too closely with it, you'll see them plan events like Six Fest, like Drake and Future performing at school. Um, you'll see them starting initiatives like the uh, Center for Women and Trans People. Um, you'll see them doing things for um, student support, like uh, if you have uh, if you have need of kind of, you know, what's the word, uh, academic accommodation, um, they kind of work on uh, providing support systems for students in that regard. Um, so there's a whole lot to it. A whole lot of it you will not see as somebody who does not keep up. Uh, if you keep up, you'll uh, they're they're quite transparent. And even when they're not transparent, um, they aren't the best at hiding things. Mm -hmm. So you you will. Uh, if you keep up, you can find out what you need to find out. So I do just want to say uh, on behalf of this show um, that the views expressed are not those of Ryerson or Ryerson faculty, um, and we express our views as only our own. Just wanted to mention that. I had to good based call, on code of, code of uh, broadcasting standards. Good it's very live. Uh, don't want to get kicked off the air. But anyway, anyway, yeah. you were saying? Uh, I mean, no, that, that's all there really is to it. Um, it's, uh, Adam said it best, I was just trying to give it, uh, you know, for somebody who does not keep up so well, um, yeah, just out of, um, lack of care, maybe. There is, um, I, the, the, the goal for me during this campaign, other than winning, obviously, was to make sure that the numbers go up in terms of, uh, voting, and in terms of, uh, people caring. And towards the end of the election, I was very pleased to see that all of the people I would talk to, you know, to, to swing votes and whatnot, they'd be like, oh, no, 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 don't worry, I already voted. No, don't worry, I already voted. 
And I could tell the ones, I can tell the difference between the ones that... Someone who's lying, right? Yeah. yeah, the ones that just wanted to shoot me off. They're like, oh yeah, I voted, I voted. But the people were like, oh yeah, I voted, I voted. And I think it's, it's much more important than people make it out to be. And I think this is, I think we had a better year than uh, last year. And I think that we will have better years next year. So we got a... <laughs> bless you. We got a comment uh, on our feed about uh, the uh, University of Toronto... Um, Student Union. The University of Victoria Student Society and the Ryerson Students Union were called the worst in Canada based on policies. Uh, like students unions, uh, according to the Varsity. Now, the hold on, was that. Article. I need to clear something up. Was that uh, UVic or was that um, Victoria College at U of T? Um, well, this whole thing is about University of Toronto, so I'm going to go with that. Because they Students, did say worst in Canada, so I'm, I just want to... Yeah, this is the University of Toronto student newspaper, so I'm going to go with... Well, did it say University of Victoria? Or did it say Victoria no, College? University of Toronto. It's the varsity, man. I know, I know, but they could be talking about a different no, no, university. No. Uh, Maybe. It doesn't make sense, though, because like, we're getting University of Victoria, University... Anyway. Okay, University of Victoria, that's the one in British Columbia, then. Yeah. But it says, like, this article is about U, U of T, so maybe they, they wrote it wrong, but it says that students' unions get F grades in 2016 Campus Freedom Index oh, based on policies. Yeah, that would be the one in British Columbia. I was reading this, too. They're talking about the University of Victoria and British Columbia, like the capital of British Columbia. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. like, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, Campus Freedom Index is very interesting. Um, our school does... But who makes these okay, calculations, well, though? That's the thing. Um... Uh, I can't remember the uh, the the body that does it, but um, it's they they basically it's it's actually very well researched, very well con it's very concise as well. Mm -hmm. um, they basically grade them on four levels. On um, I can't remember exactly what the levels are. I might actually say on there, but um, just about like free speech on campus, on uh, how corrupt the student union is or isn't, on how. Uh, how much free speech is guaranteed within the uh, actual constitution of the school? Um, and and when were these when were these results done then? Uh, they do them every year. Uh, Wait, so, so when was the last one done then? Like, uh, well, we were in first semester. I want to say in October cool. or something like that. Uh, Ryerson actually does okay on it. Not great, but uh, better than enough. I mean, no no school does particularly well. York does quite poorly, um, but Ryerson does uh, average. I'd say maybe a little bit That's below good average, but. Um, yeah, so it was pretty interesting. Now, I apologize for cutting you off there, Elliot. What were you, uh... No, it's cool. I just wanted to just bring that up because we got, we got a comment. So, as you said, we're going to address them, right? Um, also, Adam, mm. because you are on RSU, I will grill you Go on what it. you want to do for Go the for RSU it. later no. on in the show. No, right? I'm, I'm, this is what I'm here for. I'm, I'm Good. about this. It's no longer the rabbit part. It's the grill with Adam and Elliot. <laughs> Uh, now, okay, I, after reading the comments, so they're talking about the three worst student unions. This is nothing to do with free speech. So, U Victoria, University of Toronto, Mississauga, okay. and University of Victoria are the three worst student unions in Canada. That's yeah. uh, from the same body that publishes the Campus Freedom Index, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but they're just talking about how corrupt the student unions are. Yeah. So, to clear that up for everybody, I apologize for the confusion I may have caused, but uh, Adam. that's... Um, how corrupt is uh, RSU? Um, That's such a ridiculous question to answer him, to ask him. <laughs> is the RSU corrupt? Look, Before I... Before you got onto it. I came, well, we all did. Me, uh, Elliot, Marshall, and I, we all came to Ryerson when the RSU was sitting on a 12K surplus. Thanks, I man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you said me instead oh, of Daniel. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, Elliot turned a year older now. I you mean, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving, I'll, 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 I'll see myself out. <laughs> Um, the, the RSU at a time was progressive, and last year there were elections, and it turned away from its progressive, uh, from its normally progressive stance. There was a lot, um, there was less sort of room for conversation, I'll say. There was less, um, the campaign was shorter, it was three days long. Mm -hmm. They wanted to shorten it. There was an entire week. There was a. It was just a, a week for the entire process, and I think that's too short. A lot of the the collectives that are a part of the Ryerson Student Union suffered. Mm -hmm. The the trans rights collective, the racialized students collective, the, um, the sexual um, awareness society. A lot of these smaller sort of 
bottom. All of these equity groups, right? A lot of the, a lot, yeah, a lot of the equity groups. I'm gonna are refer to them as the pink groups because that's what, that's the color they give them in the Ryerson agenda, not because of a particular reason. Yeah. But yeah. So the equity groups did suffer. Like I, a lot of the people that ran with me uh, uh, work at these equity groups, and they got so strapped for cash at one point that the sexual assault hotline mm -hmm. for survivors operated out of a closet. Wow. They, they didn't have room for an office space. And I think that a lot of the people that, well, our, our VP of Equity, Cameron Harlick, uh, shout out, they... Um, they 2,085 would, votes is what I see that she got. Well, she beat um, her they, opponent. They, 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 they. they? Oh, sorry. They will beat uh, their other opponents they. by a significant margin, yeah, like 200 votes and stuff. Um, yeah, uh, they, they will do a lot for uh, Ryerson, mm -hmm. that's what I believe, personally. That's good to hear. So uh, you mentioned uh, how you've been here already last year. So how uh, you briefly mentioned it, but are there any other major differences that you can speak to in regards to how the elections went this year as opposed to last year? No, last year I didn't know that they had. Yeah. So I I was you know not as uh, up to date on them. I was involved slightly. I honestly I. I feel like I voted. I can't remember if I voted. I, I definitely vote. did. I, I, definitely definitely voted. I know I voted. I definitely voted for all the res positions because I was living in res and I cared about that and I knew most of the people running. Um, I can't remember whether I voted for RSU. Um, Pretty sure I probably voted like some elevated things. I think. Um, elevated didn't exist last year. No, whoever the opponent against was yeah. Spark. Spark it was, was still was there. Impact. Impact. That it wasn't. That's and what. no yeah. impact is what Spark people. Or now, I believe. Really? Well, they, yeah, they had. They Spark, just keep changing it. They had Spark two years ago, and then they became Impact, uh, and then they became Spark again because it was Spark Impact and Transform or something, something like that. True. And so the fact that I don't know shows how mm -hmm. open they were. <coughs> Look, um, I, 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 I don't even know where I was going with that. Uh, do you want to ask us the next question? Well, I mean, uh, well, you're asking if they're corrupt, right? Oh, right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, it was before, but I was just kind of talking about how they differ. But oh. since you guys like didn't even vote, obviously, like, well, it's like 2012 versus wanted, 2016. Wanted, America, the main, uh, the main thing, cared, nobody cared, cared really. really. I wanted to point yeah. this out, and uh, people cared so much more this year. And I saw a great Reddit comment, and on the Ryerson subreddit for any Reddit users, I recommend checking it out. It needs more users. I personally use it for marketing purposes for Ryerson Campus Conservatives, but um, it uh, really needs more users, so I'd like to plug the Ryerson subreddit on reddit.com. If you are a Reddit user, honestly, just check it out, populate that user base. Um, but I saw wonderful um, insight onto why people cared about the RSU elections this year so much. Trump, you know, uh, the people are so much more interested in politics, people are so much more passionate and fired up and realize that uh, How important it is, this right? is important yeah. because of Donald Trump. So thank you, Donald Trump for sparking the Ryerson student body's interest in the RSU elections. Wow. Um, Is that an intentional pun? What? Sparking. Uh, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> it actually wasn't. It. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, I thought that was so uh, fascinating and so true. And um, I think the, the scandals helped, much like they did with the 2016 I think they made a significant election. impact, too. Like, yeah. And they, we, I mean, I think that we could talk about the scandals for hours, and I can't wait till we get to that. Yeah, yeah. They, sure. they got people talking. Um, students, what do students care about? Money. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say food, but... but <laughs> yeah. well, no, I mean, there's enough food, food right there. There's enough private food to go buy, so that's yeah. not the main concern. And the Ryerson food's pretty good, I guess. No, I mean, the ones that get in the service hub, yeah. for a service hub, that's pretty bomb. Mm -hmm. Elk is alright. Pittman's mediocre, I think, from what I remember. And then there's expensive Metro. Yeah. No, Metro's fine. I guess it's expensive, fine. though. It is pricey. Oh, yeah, it is. I personally wouldn't shop there. Yeah. Not for groceries. Um, yeah. The students care about money and other explicit things. But when when I was talking to people about, um, there were three things that people cared about when I was talking to them. I would talk for two minutes and they'd be you know, the whole time. And then when I would mention money, they'd you know wake up. And then could. So what would happen was people cared about one thing: how much of their tuition goes to the RSU, um, the whole uh, six F fest refund scandal. And um, the ending unpaid placement. And the CFS was a big thing among circles that I'm a part of, at least. Yeah, the CFS. Wait, ending unpaid pay placements? Yeah, for nursing, engineering, uh, continuing education. Yeah, CFS did impact this election quite a bit. Uh, I, I failed to mention that. But yeah, um, yes. 
So, I did also want to mention we have another comment from the same person. Um, they want to congratulate the RSU for admitting that there were people straying away f uh, from proper conversations. Um, I don't know exactly what that means, they're but... They're congratulating they're just... the RSU guy. Which so, is oh, Adam. So, congratulations, Adam. Thank you. We yeah, no, you it, do... it's, it's very good it, to it is, it is, like, an accomplishment. Yeah. Like, the, a major accomplishment that you're on it, and we're all very proud of you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I did want to ask a question, a specific question now. Yes, sir. Um, Actually, we'll wait. We'll go to the scandals, because that's what everybody's waiting for. We don't have a lot of time left, but we're going to go to the scandals. Let's talk about the biggest scandals. Let's start with Ohana. What were their um, biggest scandals? Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> Marshall, I think it was pretty funny, Marshall's right? getting ready. So, it sounded pretty funny um, from what I heard. They, they made a music video, and I was, <laughs> I was uh, quite dismayed to learn that that was not an original song. It was a remix of uh, We Own This Town by Jay-Z. Yeah. Uh, Run This Town. Run, Run This, this town? town? Sorry. Um, we are in this town. Which I, I don't like Jay Z. I wouldn't have known. Him. I like Rihanna in that song. She's I'm pretty. pretty I'm pretty up on my hip hop. I'm not like you're, you're or hip anything, with the youth. But like, yeah. um, is it a hip? I you know I'm not uh, big on Jay Z, so I didn't know that. But um, that's a good song. With Kanye West as well. Yeah, yeah I was a little dismayed to learn that. But anyway, um, <laughs> so the rapper Ali G, uh, I believe, is what he called himself, and people are making fun of him because I don't think this guy was aware that there's already an Ali G um, <laughs> played by Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he he, you know, I, I I think it was a publicity stunt. He started saying, "Oh, they use this song without my permission," mm -hmm. and then the screenshots came out. The screenshots came out. It was oh. hilarious. You know, people from uh, can we Ohana, still find them? Oh, I'm sure you can. People from Ohana were showing the proof that Ali G had uh, on that. provided yeah. proof to or provided um, permission to use his song. And the way that their conversation went was this okay. Is why I'm on it. So make this song, um, no cursing, and just talk about Ryerson. The guy's response was, "Oh, so you want me to say Ryerson has baddies and shit?" <laughs> and um, yeah, you know, what? Uh, I thought that was that yeah. So that the guy's asking, oh, what wanna, do you want me to make the song about? Want to like, explain to to our to our viewers what a baddie is? Yeah. A baddie a baddie is this silly term that I hate so much for a good looking girl. I don't hate it because it's objectifying. I hate it because you sound stupid saying it. You uh, you sound intelligent. This is like, in an actual conversation. So he's like, hey, yo, that girl's a baddie. You know, yeah, you're gonna say something stupid. They just sound so dumb. Yeah, it, it comes from the. Why can't you say it's like, oh? It, it comes She's kind of cute. Something, popular, anything else. Uh, the ever so pervasive Jamaican patois, you know, like a bad, a bad gal. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, man, which has, <laughs> which has been. For uh, for those who don't know, the spelling is G Y A L for uh, gal. Which I don't mind that so much. I think that sounds better. <laughs> I mean, I love the uh, uh, patois influence slang. Um, it's, it's a pretty cool. That we've seen so much in Toronto, but baddie just sounds so dumb. I don't know. It sounds like. So, like, so when people are on their phone, like if you hear over, if you overhear them on their phones, like, "Yo, fam, so what are you saying?" Be like, that's what they're gonna talk about. That's how they sound. Yeah, they were, yeah, they're gonna be like, "Yo, I saw, saw this baddie over there like a while back at like at the SLC." Like, anyway, I just thought so that dumb. was really funny. The whole like publicity stunt. I don't know how this allergy guy thought he's gonna get away with that one. Clearly, people have the uh, ability and capacity to take screenshots. Um, There's also the scandal with their logo. I was going to start yeah, with that. I, I, I think that was a it's, bit overblown. Like, you know, well, we're, we're I, students. I mean, if they have, you know, f the RTA School of Media students working on people's campaigns, like, the, they can probably make their own yeah. logo, like Spark and Elevate. Yeah. You know, but ripping off Obama's logo. Yeah. Also I mean, their name. Let's yes. not forget that. Yeah. Their so, name. Hannah, Obama, you know? No, no. Their no, name it was, was cultural appropriation. Cultural appropriation. For Hawaiian because, culture, yeah, because of the Polynesian oh, yeah. word for and see, my, myself, I, I don't, I don't think that's an issue using the language. Like, I mean, it was so uh, pervasive in our culture that term because of Lilo and Stitch. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't see the big deal. Like, what if I had used like one, one moment, please, one moment. What if I had used and this is a oh, imagine if we use like Libertad, like for for the next like in the, group or, or something or like that. Want, if you want to go the Hebrew word Mishpocha. If you want to do that, it doesn't sound very pleasing. Yeah. Imagine it's like, oh, yeah, I'm running this group, it's called Familia, and that's it. Yeah, 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 or if I had said, Tartosha uh, Erkol <laughs> Shiren, which means um, uh, unending moral principles in Hungarian, which is something no, that it's I, gonna be, I'd like. That is a winning team. <laughs> no, it's called, right no, 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 it's going to be Sik Parvis Magma, Magna, I think. 
Yeah, greatness I mean, from small beginnings. There you go. That's in Latin, right there. Mother Rush. Using borrowing it. borrowing a word from another language, I don't think is a big deal. Um, I also don't think it's a big deal using a very similar logo to the one Obama had used. Um, I think it's a bit. You know, I think a silly move. It's just not a good move. But I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I personally do actually. I think it's uh, if you're gonna you know win an election campaign, you're gonna show that you're gonna make a difference. Then be original. Don't rip That's off a good other point, people. Actually. That's a good point. Like. Like it, it does show a lack of effort. Uh, like, Elevate's logo, uh, again, my opinion, not Ryerson's. Uh, Elevate's logo, I liked it. It was pretty original. It was very uh, simple. Mm. Uh, I don't know if we can pull it up, but it's fine. What, um, Elevate's logo? Yeah, it's cool. But, okay, yeah, I, I like it. that. Uh, Sparks' logo was also original. Um, but, yeah, I just, once they ripped off the logo, I was over. I was just, I'm sorry, when you don't put effort into your campaign, I was, yeah. you know. But, anyway... Um, do you have anything else to say on uh, on Ohana, or can no, we move on to Spark? I think Ohana was the least important. Yeah. Yeah. Ohana did block accessibility ramps in certain parts of the campus. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. They did? Yeah. For, like, when they, what was the reason? People? Uh, no, during, uh, when they were handing out free stuff during voting period, um, on the beach, they, they oh, set up yeah. the base on the accessibility ramps. Oh. I don't think people know that those are accessibility ramps, so no, I think I can give them a pass for that, as long as they stopped as soon as they No, were. no, no, but the thing is, is that there's a whiteboard that they write, keep our accessibility ramps oh, free, I agree with that. and they erase the whiteboard, <laughs> uh, and then they, they wrote, uh, Ohana, free food, whatever. That's whatever. an issue. <laughs> so I have a problem yeah. with that. <laughs> Hold on, let's, I'm going to zoom into that video. Hold on, we can't really see. Okay, see. and, cut, there's a video. Uh, obviously Please there's no audio. Unless we put it up. Hold on. You can try if you want. No, that's... Hold that's on. not it. <laughs> that's not it. Um, turn off the... I think uh, we should... Oh, no, I anyway, yeah, I think we should regardless of the video, it's yeah. not that important. But, um, yeah, so let's move on to Spark. Uh, uh, a man by the name of Harman Singh. Hold on, did you like the logo for Ohana? I just forgot. I, I liked it. I, I'm, I'm not, not going to lie. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It, it was a, it Reminds you of the U.S., but it's still pretty cool. No, no, because they, they explained their logo, and it did have a lot of components. Mm -hmm. It was like uh, Gould Street on the bottom, mm -hmm. uh, Ra Toronto Skylight on the top. Okay. It was a nice logo. Yeah, I, 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 I thought liked it was it. well done. It was just like, could have been a bit more original. Yeah. Anyway, um, Sparks, so they had uh, Harman, um, and I feel so bad for him. I genuinely think that this was a not malicious thing. I think it was a stupid move. I think it was a terribly stupid, stupid move. I don't think it was malicious. Um, I think, and here's my opinion from what I saw, and I was quite involved. Um, I don't know the full truth. Nobody really does except for the people involved. Um, you know, I think that they realized they made a mistake. They did not want to get professionals involved at the risk of having to spend money. They did not want to get because then um, even more people are going to get this involved at the risk of embarrassing themselves. And so they decided to handle something that they shouldn't have handled themselves. Mm -hmm. um, they made a stupid move transferring it into his own personal account. Um, because the reason being, giving out refunds through uh, Eventbrite or whatever they've used is, um, is gonna a tough process for that much money. Giving out refunds through checks, you can't send out that many checks. What the original plan was going to be was just e-transfers, correct? Yeah. Which doesn't. No, that was their backup plan. Oh, I mean, it is a decent you backup plan. You can only plan. send out so many e-transfers when it's small amounts, and yeah. then the bank will stop you. Oh. Yeah. I mean, you, like, you'd well, have to like, open up like, several people, though. Yeah, but then that's going to cause even more problems because all this money of like the students um, is going to go through multiple different private bank accounts. The that's other the problem, problem is, is um, and now this is just what I've heard. I'm not going to say this is 100% mm -hmm. true. Uh, so the RSU has their own bank account. Is that correct, Adam? Uh, I am not sure. I haven't been. We haven't even started okay. transitioning. Well, I believe that this is yet. the case. Um, and the bank that the RSU banks with wouldn't let them make you transfers at all. Um, so that's why they had to go to Harmon's personal account. This is what I've heard from representatives. So I think it was a stupid, terrible move. I don't think it was malicious. The the problem with that is that you go in to wherever you go knowing the rules of the game. Mm -hmm. You go into the election exactly. knowing the rules of the game. You go, in, in, you go into into voting knowing the rules of the game. And, and everything you do. That's why I, I hate the argument that people say that Hillary won the popular vote. It means absolutely yeah. nothing. Oh, I agree. It, the, you go into the rule, you go into the game knowing the rules. The Electoral College decides the president. But with this, you know that you cannot... You, they broke... I, they broke. They definitely broke a few bylaws, and um, 
we break bylaws to, to, to sort of ease the process, or even if it were true that uh, the bank didn't allow uh, e-transfers e and whatnot, you, 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 there, you have to find an option that's legal. I know that, look, in the grand scheme of everything that we're talking about, Ryerson is a very small uh, chess piece in a big game of universities, and uh, it, it seems it seems strange to look at this and, and get so worked up over you know the Ryerson student union elections, but it's a matter of principle. And the fact that they went around this, and no one cared, mm -hmm. basically, and it's a shame that no one cared. And um, I, I think that it should be, it should be taken seriously, even if it were to go around uh, an issue with the bank. Yeah, no, I, I I don't agree with the move at all. I just don't think it was malicious. I think it was stupid, mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to malicious. So let's uh, we're still we're on the topic of Spark. So we've talked a little bit about the scandals. We don't have that much time left. I want to ask one question about uh, transportation. One of Spark's campaign promises was to implement the a pass. university student pass. Mm -hmm. And um, speaking, since I'm talking about transportation... That was Spark's promise? Yes. It was... I love that you mentioned it before. It was ours. Was it? I and believe, then Spark took I it? I believe it was ours. Well, we, uh, we they all campaigned on the same mm -hmm. platform. Okay. Our, platforms, our, platforms, our platforms were very similar. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm as the election went along. Which is why I always emphasize it's so, so important for myself, I'm not telling other people what to do, but why I refuse to support any particular slate, I vote on individual. No, so I, 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 can, I can get with that. Because of that, I did, uh, I was forced, not forced, but I was uh, instructed to shout out Anna Vuletic because her show is about commuting, and we did discuss the TTC mm -hmm. and, and their prices uh, going up, mm -hmm. but I do want to get an answer on this, Adam, what is going to happen about transportation? Is there ac an actual possibility for, you know, students in Toronto to get a transportation pass? Because they have it in Guelph, they have it in a bunch of other universities, they have it, you know. So, is it a possibility? Is there something possible? Okay, here's what I see happening, and, and uh, my, my opinion does not reflect our president, my opinion does not reflect our, our Minister of uh, Education, our VP of Education. Uh, it does not reflect anyone. It reflects how I see it. The Ontario government is absolutely 110% strapped for cash. Yeah. The TTC is absolutely 110% strapped for cash. Mm -hmm. The Ryerson Student Union is absolutely 110% strapped for cash. Every major consultant in getting the U-Pass from an idea to reality is broke. A U-Pass takes compromise. A U-Pass takes a loss of money. The U-Pass, the way that it works, it, 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 it's a part of your tuition, and then... Um, it's about 40 to $60 that, let's say, if you live downtown or just don't want to commute, you can opt out of it, whatever, whatever, and that money goes to the, to the union, the union buys, uh, it gives the subsidy to whatever, and then it moves on and up and up and up the scale to getting a subsidy, because it's not free. Mm -hmm. You can't get discounted transit for free. Um, it's going to be a very hard battle to fight. I think it, that's something that potentially like, all Ryerson students could rally up yeah. to do. Like, if everybody if wants it. If there is enough movement, it will succeed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole thing is... I think it's important that you can opt yeah. out to... I, I personally believe that our VP of Education running for Elevate, Vajdan, could do it. I trusted him. I, I believe that he was out there. He was the one sleeping in tents at Queen's Park. He was the one sh uh, occupying Sheldon Levy's office. He was the one that I thought if we had a slim chance, we it could happen. He did not win, unfortunately, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still very bitter about that. But I also have faith in Daniel Lees, and I have faith in the board, and I have faith in the president, and I have faith. I have faith in the, and there's a, an election coming up in the Ontario government. Um, if, if, the, if the upcoming candidate for all parties wants to be smart, they can campaign that to, to students. There's a lot of students in Toronto that can swing an election. Um, I also want to know in terms of like how is it different in comparison to the other universities because I already know okay. that I already know that some universities that are outside like the GTA yeah. they do that. Yeah. An example for Guelph, it's a little sticker for them, and it's just right yeah. by their. Interesting. Their car. My hometown. I don't know if UT does it. That's why. Uh, UT does not do it. York does not do it. UTM does it. Um, yeah, okay. they do. And so interestingly, they in, have to um, though. In my hometown university, UOIT, mm -hmm. they get a uh, pass that. Provides them transit through not only Oshawa but Whitby, Pickering, Ajax, um, 
I want to say Bowmanville and Clarington. Wherever and that is. Bowmanville and Strand. Uh, yeah. Okay. Arona, all these. All the way, I, I, I believe it goes all the way up to almost Beaverton. Um, it's crazy. Yeah, Beaverton's go, I think. But anyway, continue. Uh, I know, I think just before Beaverton is where Durham Transit ends. Mm, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, I'd like to pop back to Scandals because I think there's a very, very important one that we glazed over. Was the, um, and this is going over the current RSU, the, uh, the current uh, exec board, uh, with the AGM. And how it was discovered, Ooh. and I'm not going to say because I'm a bit more skeptical about this than uh, many of my uh, I know what you're than many about. of my uh, my friends and uh, and compatriots and uh, comrades in, in many of my things I'm involved in. It was discovered, and I'm putting air quotes around discovered for those who can't see it. Who reported discovered. this? Discovered, the eye opener, um, and the eye opener, and I won't I won't hold back in saying that I think the eye opener is fake news. Um, <laughs> They they will slander and libel. Uh, I've You're been on I've news. been on the end of that. Um, I just would like to take this opportunity to say, uh, step up your game, eye opener, because you are scum sometimes. Um, <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Shots fired. And uh, you know it was discovered. So they say that obeyed the president um, was part of the walkout uh, during the AGM during the Holocaust Awareness Week. Uh, yeah. Motion. I'm not going to say that that's the truth for sure. I have seen some damning evidence. I'm not going to make a full judgment. Are you, ta you talking about this um, one? Private messages confirm RSU executives mm -hmm. prompted a walkout during yes. Holocaust education motion. So uh, what's yes. what was the evidence presented? Screenshots um, of yeah, right here. I see them right now. RSU. Yeah. Food to get only three boxes. Victoria says thank y'all. Obeyed you out of my bank. Thanks guys. Guys lose quorum right there. That's from. Hold on, I'm gonna. Obeyed. Okay, it's good. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Right there it says, Obelid, Uwala says, guys, lose quorum, which is basically telling everybody, like, get the hell out yeah. of there. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I just want to say, like, you know, I, I haven't seen that screenshot in person. I've seen other screenshots in person. I, I want to say that screenshots... Next can person in line is Zionist. I can, probably, yeah. That one, I have seen in person. That one is troubling. When he says that? That it one sounds a little anti-Semitic. VP equity, you know, calling out a... A problematic Zionist coming to speak. Um, I'm, I'm personal friends with said problematic Zionist, and <laughs> I sound like we did it. I take deep issue with the term problematic. I I've always said watch out for people who use the term problematic. I'm not <laughs> saying everybody who uses it is bad. I'm <laughs> saying keep an eye out on people who use that term. It's a term mm -hmm. used as a dog whistle by mm -hmm. cultural Marxists, by those who would have your opinion shut down for dissenting. I'm not saying everybody who uses that term is has bad intentions. I'm saying watch out because that term will have your opinion shut down, will have your opinion mm -hmm. um, invalidated, and I really don't like that term uh, for that reason. And so, you know, I, I really do take issue with this whole thing, this problematic Zionist. I think people don't know what Zionist means in a lot of cases. I think that it's conflated with, you know, uh, many other definitions, many other definitions that do not belong to that term. And uh, I like to see the current VP Equity, uh, the sorry, the one who was elected, Cameron, um, I like to see that they were uh, making an effort to reach out to uh, the Jewish students to make sure that they do not have a hard time on campus. Mm -hmm. From what I know, Cameron came out and, and, and condemned the, the report mm -hmm. and whatnot, so I think mm -hmm. They, they have a good uh, stance. Also, for anybody who doesn't know exactly what Zionism is, is a movement originally for the reestablishment and now the development and protection of the Jewish nation, which we now know as Israel. So that's the one. That's and the many, first thing. That's the first yeah, thing that hits up. So. Many many conflate the term with um, having anti. It's a broad term now, right? Sentiments. We'll talk about that. So yeah, we'll yeah. have an entire episode yeah. about it. We're good just like know. planning it already, yeah. trying to get some good guests. Uh, last question, very quickly. As non-RSU members, as non-RSU members, meaning, for example, me, Daniel, Marshall, what can we expect in the coming year? Uh, okay, the Elevate president wants Suzanne shout out. Um, I think that she she campaigned mostly on accountability. Um, they they want to have uh, biweekly or monthly town hall meetings. They want to have accountability cafes that uh, students can come and talk. And I think that we're going to run off this sort of wave of, of, of increased student involvement and try and, and play to that and, and see more students come out and be like, hey, we want more of this and less of this. What I will also see, and unfortunately this is the way that it is, 
the Ryerson Student Union has a million dollar deficit. I think that there's going to be a lot of issues with funding. I don't necessarily think that there's going to be cuts or whatever, but I think that it, it, there's going to be a bit of, 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 a, of a bump in the road to get money for what we want for students. Um, I, I don't really see what can be, how that can be resolved. You obviously go to the go-to ways, increase in tuition, whatever, whatever. But I don't see any of that happening yet. We haven't even begun the transition process. What I, okay, bottom line, what I can see coming from the student union next year is um, a little bit of a uh, of, of uh, a deeper inquiry into getting funding because funding is tight, and more openness, open door policies. The RSU won't be this you know big brother in the sky that you all hear about but never see. We're going to be out there. We're going to be on the floor. We're going to be on Gould Street. We're going to be everywhere, and we're going to talk to anybody that has any issues with us. Like we mm -hmm. want. We want argument. We want people to come for us. That's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Now, do it's I have time for one quick comment? Uh, I'd just like to yeah, express like my, my gratitude to Suzanne. She had, a couple months ago during the election, seen me wearing my Make America Great Again hat, expressed her displeasure with it, but instead of making assumptions, she asked me why I like It's very fight. important. And yeah, I, 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 you know, I respected that so much. I was so appreciative of that. So, you know what? Shout out to Suzanne for that. Awesome. So, uh, that... Uh, was our show for this week. Mm -hmm. Thank you to everyone that tuned in and that messaged us live. We still need more voters, though. Um, yeah, yes. Vote, 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 vote. I was doing the math right now. It's like only a seventh of the, of the student yeah. population we also votes. Still like this need, election. We need people to comment more. But thank you to everybody uh, that did uh, message us live. Uh, we may or may not be back next week because it is reading week, but hopefully we will since we were I'll be last Ottawa, week. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, well, fun. maybe we'll have a guest. But anyway, uh, we do have to go. Thank you to everybody. Next week, Potentially same day, same time, same people. Have a great day, everyone.